In this video, we'll be talking about Kalman syndrome. So Kalman syndrome is a rare genetic disorder that affects the development of the hypothalamus. So what would happen? In this syndrome, people often feel anosmia. That means they cannot have the sense of smell. And they also have delayed or absent puberty. Moral of the story. This is a syndrome that comes that comprises an impaired sense of smell and a hormonal disbalance that prevents puberty and everything is centric to hypothalamus. So let's see why it is so important and what is the biological basis of this disease. So here you can see marked in blue is the hypothalamus region of the brain. If we zoom into the hypothalamus, there are specific region and hypothalamus is connected to the pituitary. So there are a uh, link between hypothalamus and pituitary. Many of the hormones in pituitary is secreted by the influence of hypothalamic hormones. There is one of the neuron known as GnRH neuron, which actually lead to the production of GnRH hormone. And this uh, gonadotropin releasing hormone from hypothalamus stimulates the pituitary to secrete FSH and LHH, LH in females and ICSH in males. So this in turn stimulate the follicles in the ovary in case of females and the interstitial cells in the testis in case of males. So this is overall known as the hypothalamus, pituitary and gonad axis. And this axis is super important for the transition to puberty. This particular axis is affected in Kalman syndrome. And here is the reason why. It's basically leading to the delayed or absent puberty. Now, one portion of the hypothalamus that produces the GnRH hormone is originally not formed properly. So this is during development. What happens is near the... Uh, olfactory bulb near the nasal cavity there are problems so here you can see the anatomy right now and there are olfactory receptor neurons which uh, basically helps us to get the sense of smell and there are also GnRH neurons which migrate from this region and populate later on into the hypothalamus which further release the GnRH. Both these ORN and the GnRH neuron migration is defective in this particular disorder. As a result, especially hypothalamus is severely affected, ORNs are severely affected, so neither a patient can have the sense of smell. Also, its hypothalamus doesn't work properly. Moreover, the hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis is entirely messed up. Let us elaborate on that. This is how the normal hypothalamus pituitary gonadal axis look like. So basically FSH, LH levels would be normal, stimulation of ovary and testis would be proper. But in Kalman syndrome, due to a drop of GnRH uh, secreting neuron, because they could not migrate into the proper location in proper time, LH and FSH level is always low, ICSH is low. So obviously ovary and testis is not properly stimulated. That means all the sex hormone responsible for the secondary sexual, uh, primary and secondary sexual characteristics are not uh, inadequate amount. And in puberty, there are distinct set of changes that happens in a male or a female body. For example, in female, menstrual cycle is the key defining feature. There would be breast enlargement, pubic hair, etc. In male, the penis would be enlarged. There is pubic hair formation, facial and body hairs are pretty distinct. So all these secondary sexual characteristics are not attained and the puberty is delayed in Kalman syndrome. So if you look at males and females, all the primary sexual characteristics are compromised. For example, in male, there is small penis, improper descent of the testis, low sperm count. In case of female, there is amenorrhea, that means absence of periods or irregular period or irregular menstruation. Then secondary sexual characteristics are also kind of like affected. In males, there is lack of facial hair, low muscle tone, no deep voice. In female, poor breast development, lack of pubic hair, etc. So what is the basically cause of the Kalman syndrome? It occurs due to genetic mutation and which lead to a problem in the development of these uh, neurons in very early embryonic stage. Many of these uh, mutations are now charted out due to the high throughput sequencing. 
Now, what is the treatment option? Obviously, there is no treatment because it's a genetic disorder. It cannot be reversed. But since there are deficiency in the sex hormones or the hormones that regulate sexual characteristics, obviously, externally, those hormones could be injected like testosterone, estrogen, progesterone. So all of these hormones can be ejected, uh, injected as a therapy and it could improvise the lifestyle a little bit better. But most of the cases, these people are actually infertile and are unable to reproduce. So I hope this was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.